Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Sunday afternoon stream. I'm a couple seconds early. I'm just checking my audio. I'm just checking. All right, we got me sounding about as stuffy as I did a week ago. All right. Um, I'm keeping on with the pumpkin spice tea. Um, this time I have it prepared as iced tea. I have a little bit of um, coconut milk in there. So, delicious. Okay, well this part sounds pretty normal. Okay. I think it might be good. I don't hear any stuttering. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, Mega Terra Nova. Alright, we're going to keep on keeping on then. Are we still clearing this place out? Okay. I don't remember what we were doing. I thought I knew. But I don't. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where we had the um, the superheroes uh, fighting. Hi, Davina. Welcome to the stream. HP is a hair light. Okay. So we just finished that with the soups. All right, that makes a lot of sense now. Burning comments. Okay. It's starting to come back to me a little bit. Alright. I might have to look it up because I think I'm missing something. Unless you're supposed to go here. Oh no. I usually use my phone to answer questions, but um, We'll do it this way. Okay. So back to the Lincoln Memorial. Okay. 
Um, what am I doing? I have no idea. Oh my goodness. Ah, perfect. I think we're just gonna fast travel now because I feel pretty silly. All right. Close enough. The memorial, is, the memorial off is off limits. Hey. Aha, uh -huh, there you are. Wait, I, is this you not like a new that? person? Uh. Oh, I screwed up big time. I just walked in here like I own the place. What was I thinking? starting this day again. I screwed this up so bad. Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. I, uh, I'm trying to get back on track to a quest I started quite a long time ago and I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Ooh. And this is not like an ideal uh, weapon for us, but I'm really low on ammo. Welcome. Not my best performance, but welcome. Oh, he got th all right. Thanks. They suck me. We're starting solid today. Yesterday I died. Like, oh. Hmm. 
I am so spoiled by newer games and their um and like the map markers and stuff. So we're gonna save. We're gonna save. some beds. If this is a sleep place to sleep, I think we're going to take a little snoozy woozy because I am sure I have limb damage from that. even words for what that was. Let's just take a look at a local map here. Memorial maintenance room. Okay. You know, I've seen the Washington Memorial in person, but not up close. Um, it's always been like, like while passing by in a car. Hmm. Just, uh, Okay, find the runaway slaves, find Hannibal Hamlin and the Temple of the Union. Okay, well, we must have done something right because... At least we got another prompt for our quest. Oh, dog me, who's a good boy? Yes. Fry grenade. Oh, that's a door. switch to this. I don't have a ton of ammo, but um, it's more appropriate for a skill set. It's theft. Ooh, okay, interesting. Case. I'm missing something. No, just one way in and out. Interesting.
I think we might have to just keep following this um, and visit all the memorials. I definitely feel like we've been museum hopping quite a bit. Okay, we might have to get on the metro for this, but we'll see. I don't mind traveling by the metro because we have our cool mask. Yeah, looks like it is a really cool way to control an open world area since Fallout 3 was like the, the big deviation from the previous two games being like isometric. I'm very keenly aware of dog meat breathing now. Look like we've explored a ton in here. Somehow, what's up, home slice? Okay. But as of right now, as long as we have this mask, uh, ghouls are friendly, so we're gonna go with it. They do kind of look like an early iteration of Fulmer. So I don't know if there's a relationship between the two in terms of like design. Georgetown. We've discovered Georgetown South. It's not the right way for us, though. There was also a way to, I think, go down, which is probably what we need to do. GNR, good news radio. It's like a suitcase. It's empty though. And we also walked by a spatula. The most invaluable piece of equipment that you need in the wasteland. There we go. Just making sure I wasn't missing anything. animation though. Is that really it? That seems weird. Ouch, what was that? Oh, rib cage. I think we need one of those. Chinese pistol, we do not need one of those. But I do think we need a camera for something. Unfortunately, while I was trying to figure out um, 
So that's Georgetown. Um, while I was trying to figure out where I was going, I unfortunately got a little peek at the work camera, so I know we're gonna need it for, I guess, part of this uh, quest line. Ooh. Ooh. I'm really excited. Okay, under aid. Sneak increased by one. Heck yeah. Any sugar butts or sugar, uh, sugar bombs? That's what they are. Guess not. All right. So this is where we came in. Yeah, I guess that's it. I'm going to fast travel. To Le Font South. Over oh. here! Keep firing! Don't want that, but I'll take that. Um, I'll take the cigarettes for now, but they will be the first thing we dump. Ooh, that was spicy. I keep forgetting that those guys are looking for me. Oopsie, oh, it's so spicy. Take that though. Ooh, we got some shells. Not amazing, but I'll take it. Uh, yeah that please capital post kill Maltov Manda that's me I feel so famous is that a note like an actual note no is it some kind of item hilarious. When did I pick? Oh, maybe I picked it. I don't know why I picked this up. I'm going to leave my own hair. Ew. I guess, I guess it's fine for now. office okay but also looking for another metro We'll save and we'll poke our head in. I have a feeling that it's just going to be more super mutants, though. Um, well, for right now, it's just cockroaches. We'll keep pushing forward. Okay. 
Nice. Are they all dummies? Oh. Kami's crushed. Dorothy Proud. Oh, it, it, okay, so it is the newspaper. Hmm. Okay. Good morning, Chief. Capital Post staff writer. In the last evening's, um, last evening hours of July 10th, brave American Army forces launched an Launched, launched an all-out offensive uh, offensive against the entrenched Chinese communist invaders in the beleaguered seaport of Anchorage, Alaska, destroying all opposition and finally liberating the city after more than 10 years of Chinese occupation. No red-blooded American can ever forget that terrible winter of 2066 when Chairman Chang's commie cutthroats mercilessly... Uh, it cut off. What the heck? Hold on. Let's do it again. There we go. Invaded the icy extension of the United States in an unprecedented act of foreign aggression that sent shockwaves all the way back uh, to our nation's capital. But the nightmare is finally over, and America, always the home of the brave, is once again the land of the free. Uh, good morning, Chief. Capitol Post uh, staff writer. It would appear that Washington's tolerance for American social disorder has finally reached its breaking point. In a recent public statement, the White House spokesman Warren Eccleston said, Okay, Americans okay, Americans are hungry. We get it. Well, I've got news for you. Things are tough all over, people. The president himself has been forced to substitute cube steak for his nightly prime rib, and the only wine available is a detestable Chateau Montrose 2043. But does he whine? Does he take to the streets like a rabid red? So please, good people, please wait in line, get your food, and then go home. We're all Americans. We do not solve our problems with violence. Oh my god, is that so out of touch? Uh, United Nations disbanded. In a crushing blow to foreign relations and world peace, the United Nations yesterday was completely disbanded, leaving its member nations to fend for themselves in these trying times. Many had considered the United Nations the best hope for brokering a ceasefire between the European Commonwealth and the nations of the Middle East, but such an intervention is now impossible. In a somber press conference at the United Nations building in New York City, um, United Nations President Sukujama Okiri had this to say, It's a sad day for the United States, sadder still for the world. An era of relative peace and prosperity has come to a tragic end. The resources wars are upon us, and in my humble opinion, the United Nations is needed now more than ever. Sadly, the world disagrees. Those nations that have not always moved um, out of the immense um, headquarters will have completely vacated the premises by the end of the week. Several organizations have already begun bidding on the prime real estate, but children's toy retailer Bumbleo seems determined to transform the building into their new East Coast head, uh, East Coast superstore. Pint size slasher. When American Child Alive hasn't heard the story of the pint-sized slasher, that diminutive demon in a clown mask who stalks and slashes, slashes the innocent residents of the supposedly safe suburbia. It's just one of the many folk stories parents use to scare their youngsters into behaving themselves, or is it? According, according to Germantown uh, Police Chief Joseph Field, the pint-sized slasher may be more real than many people would like to admit. After reviewing the autopsy results of the Linden Street slayings, we have confirmed that um, the force and direction of every knife wound are consistent with an attack from a much smaller assailant, a child to be precise. And to the sinister forensic findings, this statement from Christopher Atkinson, the one surviving victim of the adolescent assassin, and it becomes clear that the pint size slasher doesn't indeed walk among us. The clown, the clown, he's going to kill all of us. Do you understand me? He stabbed my brother, Sean, right in the face. He killed my brother. That little clown. 
but assuming the pint-sized slasher is indeed real, tangible threat to the peace a loving residents of DC suburbia, one question will remains. Why? What could possibly motivate a child to don a clown mask and murder innocent people in cold blood? We may never know, at least not until the miniature maniac is brought to justice. Until then, all we can do is lock our doors, kiss our children goodnight, and pray they live to see the morning. What? Ah, oh, they, these were these were some wild times here. U.S. to annex Canada. In a move that is being widely viewed as both necessary and overdue, the United States military today declared that they will begin the um, immediate annexation of the country of Canada. The decision comes after a long and continuous um, contentious relationship with the Canadian government that began shortly after the Chinese invasion of Anchorage, Alaska in the winter of 2066. The Canadian leadership at the time expressed its opposition to American troops passing through their country or traversing their airspace, but ultimately capitulated. Tensions with our neighbor to the north have only escalated since then as the United States has found itself relying heavily on Canada's natural resources, including wood cultivated from the country's great timberland forest, to maintain the war efforts against, the Ch against China. But it was a recent near sabotage of the Alaska pipeline that finally tipped the American military's hand. That was the last straw, says Buzz Babcock, commander of U.S. forces in Canada. You know what's been stopping the Reds from pouring into downtown Juneau? American soldiers, that's what. And now we've got to worry about someone, Chinese, Alaskan, or otherwise, taking out the pipeline. I don't think so. Effective immediately, United States troops are beginning to complete beginning a complete takeover of all Canadian assets and resources. Little America is ours, but let's face it, it's always, it always has been. Woo! All right. Um, uh, in a startling turnaround from their previous policy of complete covert de um, development, the United States Army has confirmed that they are indeed working on a new super weapon, one designed specifically to crush the Red Chinese invasion force and liberate occupied Anchorage, Alaska once and for all. Speaking at an Army press conference at the Pentagon, General Constantine Chase uh, stated, No more secrets. The time has come to lay all our cards on the table so the Chinese can see with their own eyes what we've got, that we've got the winning hand. The United States Army is proud to announce that for the first time in history, General Atomics International and Robco have joined forces to create for this great country a super weapon that will leave every single yellow belly red shaking in their commie boots. Unfortunately for our leaders, that's as specific as Chase is willing to get. While he and the army are ready for China to know the U.S. is developing a new weapon, they're not quite ready to divulge what it is or what it will be or when it will be ready for development. All in due time, all in due time. Rest assured, when this weapon is complete, liberty will come to Anchorage and hell will follow. Dang. Ah, uh, that's a lot to take in. Oh, I can take the dirt. Alright. Um, oh, look at this cool emblem on the wall. Oh, that's pretty impressive. I like how it didn't do anything. Just sat there. Alright. Mm -hmm. I think that might be the only way to go, but we'll find out. It took us nowhere. Oh, that feels dirty. Okay. Well, that's, mm. oh. There we go. 
Let's let's do some puzzles. Hmm. I N G. I C S. A N T A P S. I C S. Okay, we have two of those. I N G. I N G. O N S and I N G. All right. O N S is unique dungeons. Okay. So let's see if we can clear some duds out then. This music absolutely reminds me of Oblivion so much. I know it's But I mean, it makes sense because this, uh, that would have been pretty sure Obsidian had their hands, uh, still, um, pretty sure they worked on Oblivion in addition to Bethesda, but I could be wrong. I don't see any. Okay, well, let's try. Okay, so that's two in common. <laughs> that's only one. Okay, that's not it. Uh, that's two. Scheming, so we, can we try, no, Luna takes us two. Genetics is two. So let's look at some of the INGs. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Oh. So it has three in common. Cleaning is. So N, oh, that would be more than three. So it would be something that only has the ING. Oh, nice. I think we're forced to go down now. Where that will take us, that's a whole other thing. We got black grapes from the market this week and they're super good. I am genuinely concerned as to what we will find in here. Gibson. Gibson's scrap of paper. Oh. Search the house. Search the house. Oh, wow, that's part of his brain. Yeah. So only one way in or out. Oh, is Gibson Ranch, wait, is that? Was that Outer Worlds? I'm trying to remember. The place of the cannibals. Um, Maybe there was, oh yeah, there was a Gibson Ranch in Fallout New Vegas, but 
they weren't really cannibals. Um, I think they were just beef farmer, beef ranchers, and they were just really ambitious, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. I might be mixing up a couple things. Right, let me just take a look. Radia Metro. I'm over here. Something. Oh, okay, we got super mutants. Shut my own dog. Don't mess with my pupper. Luckily, my oh, there. Ew. Like the bobby pins. Yeah, they're so gross. Um, luckily, my dog is less of a coward than I am. We've already gone that way. Hmm. We're kind of getting away from where we want to be. So we actually want to be heading south. We might go to Rivet City and make our way back. I'll see if I have to take my mask off. See if we can take our mask off and sell to this wandering trader here. I think we have a couple things to sell. I think that's a Jefferson Memorial up there. Keep it on the level and everything will be fine. Ah, fellow student on the path of the wasteland. Welcome to my humble caravan. Please relax, for we are in a place of safety. The type of safety that can only be ensured by an abundance of weaponry, both wicked and awesome, all of which can be yours for the right price. See the world's dangerous and unbalanced place. Okay. So I realized the only way to bring peace was to make sure that everyone could be dangerous. So with a little bit of help from the mayor of Canterbury Commons, I set up this caravan. I can't give the weapons away for free. 
but I come close. Um, I'm here to buy. Please, enjoy my selection of high-quality problem solvers. Okay. Consult this. Um... We can sell this for now. Um, oh, he only has 300 caps. Okay. Um, well, that's fine. Our favorite weapon. Let's see if he has some shotgun shells. If he does. I will buy his grenades. How many 32s do we have? Okay. What is our other favorite weapon? That's the um, Chinese Assault Rifle. That's a 5.56. Five, He does not have any five five six. He does a flame or fuel though. But I'm gonna pass. Thanks. Keep your skills sharp and your eyes peeled, alright? Okay. You won't get away with that. What are you talking about? See, we have green friends here. I have one sniper found. Oh, no. oh shoot, I got too close to the wall. Oh, okay. All right, there we go. <clears throat> so there should have been one body here. 5.56. Five, Use that for the Chinese assault rifle. I really clearly am not super knowledgeable about guns other than the basics, so.
Lying congressional style. Hey, welcome to the stream. We are just chilling out. I have some iced tea and we're just playing some Fallout 3. I think I'm working on a quest, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're just rolling with it. They kind of like racing games. Um, what are you playing right now? But not the realistic race car ones. Like. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. I think we, I think we can be big heroes. But after we loot. Um, oh, Diddy Kong Racing by Evan Bradley, I mean, there's a lot of uh, pretty cool, like, cyberpunk ones. Yeah, I mean, my, uh, my knowledge of racing games is pretty much <clears throat> limited to either Mario Kart or, like, Need for Speed, but I know there's some other really cool ones out there. Do we have a minigun still? I think we do. Hold on. Yeah, we do. Untire. There you go. Enjoy. Run away now. Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you. The things they talked about doing to me. Look, I don't have anything to offer you except these supplies. I don't know why they didn't take it. All right. Go Here, on. Here, thank you again. I'm going to try to make it home, if it's still there. I don't know who I gained karma with, but I'm glad I did. Um, I always laugh because <clears throat> this obviously shows my age, but there was a PC racing game that I really loved when I was little, um, and it was called Mega Race, and I guess it's like the, like the Mandala effect where I swear the host in the video game was John Lithgow, but it's some other actor, um, but it was just like... Oh, Mom, I want John Lithgow. No, 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 honey. We have John Lithgow at home. And it's just like this guy. Um, but it was like super sarcastic and I don't know. I mean, I guess for the time, for like, I don't know, a DOS game, it looked pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's like one of the few racing games I kind of remember clearly. And I guess we did play the like, like match car mini game. It's old, yeah. Um, but it was a good time. It was a good time. The host was really funny. Um, it was one of the first times I encountered like that kind of humor in a video game. So, it, good, good times, good memories. I don't remember what it was called, but I also remember playing a fair bit of this, like, drifting game um, on the PS2, but I couldn't tell you much more than that. I just remember one of the ra racetracks was Beacon Hill. Um, I did like having a ridiculously pink car for no reason. I think it's because there wasn't a whole lot of like, um, like customizable like red stuff. So clearly, pink. Uh, I guess there was like a Hot Wheels game my cousin played. I'm really having to think about it. <sighs> 
So you said that there's a bunch of like cyberpunk looking ones coming out. Um, did anything like really catch your eye or just generally they look cool? The Lego World game had racing parts. Yeah. Um, a couple months ago I finished uh, Yakuza 0 and there's like a whole like like match like a matchbox car sort of like um like track races <clears throat> um and that was really fun all right we got a gift shop let's see what's inside we're wearing a ghoul mask so we have to kind of be careful here Ooh. Okay, I know I talked about some of the, like, music made me think of Oblivion. Hey, cool, welcome to the stream. I think, I think our goal is... Oh, hi! We're leveling up, apparently. Um... I guess our goal is to take the Jefferson Memorial. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, we have um, 13 more points. We could take our lockpick to 90. That gives us 8 left. Alright, let's bump our science then. Phantom Spark? I don't know, it's a cool name. It sounds like a prog rock band for sure though. <laughs> it's a good name. Swift Learner. I feel like I remember that being um, kind of a mixed bag. Or more ammo. Scrounger sounds good because we have been. Oh, um. Okay, the first ring of this perk, animals simply won't attack. At the second rank, they will actually come to aid you in combat, but never against another animal. That's kind of cool. That one's silent running is pretty good. Man, there's a lot of good ones here. Better criticals. Chem resistant. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go with silent running. That looks sick. It's not cyberpunk though. Okay. Yeah, I've never um, really, I don't know. I guess I'm just not a car person. I mean, I grew up with a parent who is a car person. Um, so I don't know if that's it, but um, okay, I'm gonna cheese this a little. Um, but I try to be open to like different games for the for the channel because if it's what people are into, I'm certainly willing to give a genre a try once. Like a floating robot racing one another. It's kind of a weird alien thing. That sounds sick. Hi, baby. Hi. Do you want up? My, speaking of weird alien things. Come on. Come on. You know how to get up. You haven't come and hung out in my office for a while. Is dad not paying attention to you? Hi. Come on. Come on. While well, she decides. <laughs> I 
I know sometimes she, I guess, like, sneaks in here for, for naps, but, like, I don't know. She doesn't really do anything, so as long as she's not scratching anything or chewing anything, she can hang out in here. Hi. What are you doing? She used to sit on the back of my chair all the time, but now that Mr. B doesn't work weekends, I'm like, it's like, mom who? Here. Yes, ma'am. That's not a treat bag for you. Hi, what you doing? So I'm gonna check out the cyberpunk one and wow, I just found a new indie coming soon called Ripley, do you have to give check kisses first? Alright. Uh indie coming soon called A Frame Ultra. Looks insane, really popular game called Bass Penguin. It's like Fall Guys, but for racing penguins. That sounds adorable. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is the place for, for people who like cute games, that's for sure. Ripley, what are you doing? I don't think you would like that. I have a bag of licorice candy sitting here. It's just like, but... Okay, well, we cleared that whole side and we haven't really guessed anything yet, so... Um, separated... Um... Okay, artifact's the only one that doesn't end in ED. Okay. A. T. There we go. Oh no, you're totally fine. Okay. Uh, she's kind of has her, her cute little face in front of the uh, my screen over here. Um, Airframe Ultra looks exactly like what I want in an indie racing game. You ride hoverboard, hover bikes, <laughs> can customize your character, and there's riding combat graphics with Pixel 3, kind of like Valheim. It's a kitty. She used to hang out all the time, and then my husband started working from home. And then he started streaming with me on Sunday morning. So, of course, Dad's way cooler than Mom. Here, you want to show everyone how long you are? <sighs> long skinny cat with a plush coat. My fancy pants. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? Here. Do you want to sit, sit, sit on the back? No. <laughs> she wants to sit on the desk. Alright. Uh, deactivate turret system. Oh yeah. She's a cutie. Dad might be her favorite, but I'm still mom, and she still sleeps between my knees at night. Even though she is like two and, you know, a big girl now. Ripley, what are you staring at so intently? If you're going to, if you're going to play with court, though, you gotta go. I despise opinion wars, but I'm more of a cat person by far. Um, I actually really like rabbits, but we don't live somewhere where we really have like, oh, we gotta go, Ripley. We gotta go. <sighs> Good job, dog meat. Um, I mean, I'm pretty partial to most fuzzy friends. Uh, also a big fan of feathery friends, and I've been partial to a few scaly friends, too. Um, I used to be a dog person, probably because I grew up with dogs, but, um, I don't know. 
uh, our cat, our, our house is better suited. But they can learn to get really close to humans. Oh, a uh, bearded dragon, yeah. Um, I used to go to school with a guy who had one, and um, he was just like a chill little dude. His name was literally Beardy. Chloe, best doggo. Yeah. Um, I grew up in a house with dog and birds and fish, so yeah. So, but uh, when I started working uh, remote, I changed careers uh, a little over two years ago. And, um, and uh, we have uh, old work friends who do fostering. And one of them had, had called and was like, hey, so you work from home now. You want a cat? And uh, I was like, oh, I don't know, you know. I just started working from home. I just started this new job. And she was like, well, let's look at a couple pictures. Well, you know, once you see the pictures, you're done for because they're so dang cute. And, uh, like, I guess the whole thing was that, you know, uh, Ripley's litter was just, like, like, too old to be cute. And when we got her, she was only, like, 14 weeks. So she really just needed a lot from us. Still, I mean, she was box trained and she was pretty well socialized, but like she was still like losing her baby teeth and stuff like that. Oh, the Taft tunnels. So, but she's a good cat. She knows her name. Um, she opens doors. <laughs> um, she's very sweet. Um, it's, she's shy, but she warms up. She's very friendly. Um, she got to play with children for the first time a little while back. And, uh, I wasn't sure how that was going to go, but, uh, she absolutely loved it. So my friend had her two little boys over and, I'll, and she like told them the whole way. She was like, just remember that, you know, Ripley's really shy and it might take her a while. Oh no, instantly in love. She likes dogs. So I'm hoping one day we'll be able to give her a puppy of her own. Um, she knows when the neighbors walk the dogs in front of our house. So like 520 on the dot, she's in the front window and she's, she's ready for them. Kind of like she she has a sense of like when D and D night is, because she starts looking for her men. Um, it had, we had taken a little bit of a break because we went on our honeymoon, and then uh, so of course last night everyone got like groomies from. Her. Okay, so there's no one on the end of that. There's not like a scientist or someone who's like trapped somewhere. At least not that we know of. So she, uh, she has a bed, um, that Mr. B has put on his work desk. And so she, she used to hang out with me when I, uh, would work in the living room, but, um, now, now it's all about hanging out with dad. But. Oh, this really sucks. I already can feel it. We want to get Ripley a sibling, but since we're hoping to buy a house next year, I think we might now wait until we're into the new house to do introductions because it'll be a more neutral space because Ripley has been here since she was a fairly small kitten so right okay correction we will probably buy a townhouse um, 
but we are hoping to be homeowners of some kind next year. A house is a house. It'd just be nice to have a place that was ours, you know? We did see, I think it, oh, did I miss this? Nope, thank goodness. That would have been silly. We did see, I believe it was a couch next to some kind of sewer grate, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. Then there's the rotunda, but I think we're gonna find more of these fellas before we're done. Oh, it was on the couch. That'd be awesome. And I have no idea why housing crisis even exists, but didn't exist like 20 years ago. Like what the hell? Um, it's because builders go big and because like they can and it attracts big sellers, but it kind of um, prevents, you know, look for, oh, My weapon is broken. There's no solution. Um, I know, like, um, there have been a lot of laws. I live in California, um, and there have been a lot of laws that are, like, requiring, um, builders have to um, like so many permits approved for buildings now have to account for like, like working class families and, um, that's not what I want, I want this, and like middle class families. Oh, he didn't write anything good on him. Uh, uh. It is weird. Um, I, I think because Mr. B and I are child free, I think what we will have some luck. We have, like, we don't have to worry about school districts. Um, and like that kind of thing. But our requirements is that wherever we move has to be within, like, a reasonable walking distance from like a train station because neither one of uh, I can't drive and he doesn't like to drive it seems totally reasonable to not yes yes it is uh, I missed uh, definitely some golden era video games while I was very very serious with school so save here. Thank you. Oh, uh, is it going to be something really... Uh, okay. Well, my concern is that we're talking about big monsters, like some kind of aberrant um, like Deathclaw or Mirelurk or something. Oh, his tapes. Start with number five. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, 
searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a Voltaic facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltec's sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltec's social preservation program and his work on something called GEC, the Garden of Eden creation kit. Sounds like Sam Neill. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, holotapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. See, I hear Project Purity, and I think, like, Purity Control from the X-Files. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Oh. <sighs> All right. Well, we've saved. And I guess we still have the opportunity to run away if this goes poorly. Input of additional filtration chemicals. Maybe I don't have the info yet. to the gift shop. This also goes to the gift shop. Um, I feel like I've missed something. I know the super mutants are involved Like they have an interest in certain technologies. Okay. Let's take a look at our quest log. Okay. So 
So I think one, two, three, four. I think these are all DLC. Okay. So I take it we're going to have to come back here with a formula of some kind. Okay. So what happened to Jeffy Boy? Like... Hmm. Okay. Well, now we have a, a save. I'll make a new save, actually. A little concerned that my favorite weapon is broken. What? I hear something. Okay. Something powers it? That's the main frame. Another hollow tape. Okay. We have duplicates of eight. I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. In her place is my daughter, small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant, especially an infant without her mother. Okay. It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt, both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Addison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, he'll tolerate none of them. If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen? It breaks my heart to go. But I must put the needs of my child before my own. This okay, we have enemies near enemies nearby. Good to know. control <laughs> I 
Just trying not to backseat. Uh, doing some work. Found you! No worries. Um, I appreciate when people are courteous about stuff. Um, although, I have very much appreciated the help I've received in the past with some other things, so. I feel like this is a save regularly situation. Oh. There's like a fuse mini mini game here. Some kind of puzzle. I saw a door that said flood control. Looks like right away. A clip. Take your scrap metal. It's the... Sweet. The cartridges for the minigun are ridiculous. Okay, so we have the flood control power switch. This feels like something that we would have to execute then run away very quickly from. Oh, look at all these. Okay. And more. I'll start from the beginning. Well, here we are again. Project Purity and me. It's been close to 20 years since my last entry. Since I left all of this behind to make a life for my daughter. We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe, and that's all I could have hoped for. Now my daughter is a grown woman. Beautiful, intelligent, confident, just like her mother. And as hard as it was to admit it, she doesn't need her daddy anymore. So here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God change the world. We really thought that waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. That will serve for now, but I need help powering up the mainframe. I am to visit Madison at Rivet City. I spoke with Dr. Lee, Madison, at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. <laughs> How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real scientific progress. Here I come again, the very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine, God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. Better days, huh? That batch of tests was inconclusive, 
But Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please. I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> We'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. <laughs> Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a like a Brahmin head or something. I think we searched all the way around here, but I'm not confident. Okay, this is where we found the fuses. I can't use this now, okay. Yeah, game maps that have like, like a terrain change, whether it's like a natural environment or a building, I struggle and I know I do. Can I poke this? Okay. So we don't have all the ingredients yet. Let's look at a local map. Have we... Um, okay, so there's something called the sift pump. So how do we get there? Well, I guess we'll find out. Not it. Okay, so this is the door that opens through power. that yet. Capital Wasteland, Pump Control, and the Rotunda. This is where we saw 
Jefferson. Good old Tommy boy. Read all the notes. I don't think our journal updated. Just says gain entrance to vault two. Or vault 112. Okay. So that is quite the trek across the waste. And these are the vaults that we had some some other notes that like revealed the location of several okay I think that that's all we can learn here if I'm wrong I guess we'll be back we're also supposed to try to find this like Hamlin guy and I've done a very poor job of doing that I do enjoy how much <laughs> dog meat just like breathes super heavy, just like a real dog. And they're like, hi, nice to meet you. Okay. I can't imagine anything of value would be in the bathroom, but I, don't know, I feel like you could find a, a key card. Ooh, we got some of this stuff. I did a poor job looting in here, clearly. Hmm. I like that someone just shoved a plunger in there for no reason. No reason. I'm, I, I shouldn't say no reason. Someone found a bunny. And that's why they did it. Get me out of here, please. Get me out of here. That's the basement. I thought the rotunda was just like this area. Yeah. So there's two jo so two doors for that. Oh my gosh, I am always lost. Alright, so we are going back out. I knew it all along. Yes, that's what happened. Yeah, that's right. I only went in through the gift shop. Explain a lot. Or does the sick pump only take us to that? Um, you know what? I think it takes us to that section of pipe that just takes us outside now that I remember. 
Yeah, buddy. all of this. <sighs> I want to keep on with the main quest, obviously. Memorial Washington Monument. Museum of History. But we got a quest from a guy and I don't remember like what our next step is. So that would be head of state and it doesn't have a map marker. So it's obviously something that we need to poke around and find. Um, the only thing that I succeeded in doing is I want to do is like hop around to places the game does not want me to go because there's steps there but I think I have to jump a fence to get there and um, time and time again the game doesn't seem real keen on me jumping places all right well whatever we do I have to go get my stuff fixed um, let's go back Seneca Station, I think that's the only place that I can, like, really get something. Um, I think that's just for me to sell the sugar bombs. Let's go to Megaton. We have friends there. All of us here thank you for everything you've done. For us for the wastes. We pulled together and got you this. It's the best we could do. Please take it. With our thanks. We got potato crisps. Uh, it means that much to you, I'll take it. It does. Thank you. Uh, all right. I don't actually know if this impacts my ability to sell stuff. Just because it's in my inventory, I will sell the scrap metal here. You need something? Yeah, what is it? Can I interested in buying some scrap metal? I sure am, Missy. What have you got for me? I have one. Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. Nice. Well, back to work. And then crack. 
crater supply. Oh, what time is it? Oh, not quite. you know what I need to stretch my legs and I will be back in like two minutes and we will keep on keeping on what whatever crazy quest I find myself on all right I am back and let's load up the game I had a good think um I want to go back to Canterbury Commons after we sell some stuff. We went up there as part of that quest last week. I'm pretty sure that's why that's on our menu. And I think we just got wrapped up with a different side quest. So I want to go back up there and just take a look around. We also didn't do much exploring. As long as it's not stuttering, we're good. Let's try again. Dad says not to talk to strangers. Um, cool yo. <laughs> Children. Okay. Hi. Oh hey! Kinda busy here, but I guess I can talk for a bit. What's up? Um. Hmm. Absolutely. She's got 12 shotgun shells. Um, she also has some 5.56 now. Let's sell off all the 32. Oh, I can sell the death claw hand. That's pretty sick. Um, It's not like an absolute necessity, but this way I can kind of clear out my inventory too. And then we'll have her fix her shotgun. I still have no idea why I have that. Um, 308. I feel like that's an uncommon. Good hunting. If you've got the caps, I've got the skill. All right. Um, first things first. This. All right. That's it. Gotta go. Come back soon. Got my eye on. Good for you. Hey, excuse you. There we are. And 
and that's where we're gonna go next canterbury commons we're also really close So let's just look at a map. Canterbury Tunnels. And the Robot Repair Center. Okay. Boop, this means I can switch weapons now. It's not great, but we'll figure it out. Ooh, does this guy have shells? That'd be awesome. Hey. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. I think have that's a, a joke. Uh, I am uh, here to buy. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Oh, he literally only has armor. Gotta go. Walk well, friend. Hey. Hey. I didn't investigate any of these, like, any of this. Says the sure knows how to climb. Well, I know it's obsidian, but you know what I mean. They know how to paint this guy. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. tell what that is. Creature or dust moat? We may never know. Oh, it looked like some creature I'd never seen with tusks. I guess it kind of looks like tusks. I don't know why that spooked me. Gone too far east. Found 
found I have found a fair bit of like shacks and huts and little odd things um, both in Fallout 4 and New Vegas so if we were supposed to come up to Canterbury Commons for a quest and nobody could no one really had anything to say There's this whole road here. Um, can I? Here. And then. Yeah. Well, whirlwinds. Here we go. Because we came from the south. Sort of. So, whatever we're supposed to find, I'm just going to cut a wide perimeter around town. Oh, we got ants. Unnecessary use of ammo. Oh, you know what? Oh no, I guess we're not that close to the antagonizer's lair. I don't think we are. Long grass makes me nervous. Uh, we are a fine and cowardly gamer. <laughs> uh. Is that? I guess this is away from the way we came in. Oh, is that? Oh, uh, Brotherhood. Okay. I think. No. Who are these guys? Great. Here's some of. No time to talk to your type, local. Oh, um, okay. We haven't really found out much more about those, like, Brotherhood outcasts either. Yeah, it might just be bugs on this farm. <coughs> But it's worth the look. I kind of have to like. I feel like we're we're kind of using like more wind rules here. It's like, well, yeah, it's out past yonder. Good luck. I'm going for this Hamlin guy. Hamilton, Hamlin. My dog certainly doesn't like something. Oh, 
who's got the pea shooter? Oh, we can uh, repair ours. What are they doing up here? Look at my mini map. I don't see any doors. <clears throat> I don't even think that water tower is accessible. Really mushrooms though. Who's this? Who is Donovan? Got Donovan's French mini nuke. Take that. See if we can repair again. All right. Nope. Nice. Sorry, Donovan, but you're going to have to take your uh, assault rifle back. Alright. We have a named wrench. I'm surprised he didn't have a note on him. Okay, I guess we've gone by toilets that are like 18, so I can't really say too much. Atomic batteries were really cool in the future. <clears throat> okay, generators. I'm getting a little hoarse from earlier, so. Come by my tent. Radiation screenings. He was time a big dumb head. Okay. Rad sickness. Keep the cows breeding. Wind mills. Haven't found any good blades. Okay. So it sounds like they tried to homestead up here and it didn't work out for them. weird sound. I don't want to deviate too far from Canterbury, so 
You're the cows. from the water. Mmm, rotting Brahmin corpse. Perfect. There's a building a little bit south, southwest of here, so. I'm very sick looking Brahmin. Although I don't know if they ever really look good, right? I'm going to try to head closer to the main road and then make my way south. I must be missing something. Oh, there's a diner. We also found a note that said search the house, but I have no idea what house we were supposed to search because we are in uh, Le, Le Font Station. I think I hear baby cat. Whoa! That was my dumb butt. A grizzly dino. Why am I dumb? I'm not even paying attention. Um, I guess why it, this is why it has this name. Why is it bouncing? Raiders, but not slaves. I feel like I have to like redeem myself a little bit here. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, Keller family transcript of three. We like notes. Mom, it's Candace. Oh my God, it's really happening. I can see the cloud. It's so big. Mom, I'm so scared. I'm heading to the vault now. I'll do whatever I can to get inside. My number of the passcode was seven, right? Number for the passcode was seven. I wonder if that means there's a vault closer to here than we have discovered yet. Is that a oh. 
Junk Town Jerky Vendor. Well, I now know why this is called the Grizzly Diner. Gross. Six. Pretty sure she had a buddy though, but oh, as much as the nighttime is freaky, um, I really mm, am not paying attention. Here we go. Found the Grizzly Diner, and here's the main road leading to Canterbury Commons. Oh, it's an iBot. Okay. That's a brain. I guess in a week I forgot about the roving robots. Roving robots. Oh, kitty cat. I'm very disappointed you can't pet the cats in Fallout 4. Ripley Bean, I hear you out there. feel like this is the kind of place where we would find a Yablai or a Death Claw because of the terrain. It's kind of arid and kind of tumbleweedy. <laughs> That's not a real adjective, but we're going with it. I feel like we'd also find boxes down here. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Some sparkly lights there. I don't think I'm wearing my ghoul mask, am I? No. I don't know if it has an impact on anyone else except ghouls. <gasps> this is what we're looking for. Wait, where, where is it? Okay, that's Canterbury Commons and that's Temple of the Union, the place that we're supposed to be looking for. Um. I feel like it's a really big space to be looking for a nearby location. That's all I'm saying. What's your business, stranger? Um, just looking for a place to rest and maybe some trading. Hannibal says I gotta let folks like you in, but that don't mean I have to like it. Keep your hands in sight and don't make any sudden moves. I'm coming down to open the gate. Hannibal is upstairs somewhere. I'm locking the door behind you, so don't try anything. I'm okay. watching you.
Oh, there ah, he is. A visitor. Welcome to the Temple of the Union. I'm not going to ask you who you are. Uh, for the moment, I don't care. We are all escaped slaves. I need your solemn promise not to betray us to Paradise Falls or the slavers. Until I get that, you cannot leave here. So, do I have your word? All right. I swear to protect the Temple of the Union. Welcome, sister, to the Temple of the Union. Our home is your home. Your past is your own affair, so long as you serve our common good. As a symbol of our trust, here is a key to the gate. <clears throat> What's that stone head? That's Abraham Lincoln, the great emancipator. We don't know how it came to be here, but it's fitting, don't you think? You used to be a slave. For 23 years, I was a slave. Ever since I was 14. Six years ago, I managed to escape from my master. He's been hunting me ever since. When I found the head of Lincoln here, I knew it was a sign for me to help other slaves to escape. I founded the Temple of the Union as a safe haven for runaway slaves everywhere. Nice. What are a bunch of escaped slaves doing hold up here? We are trying to make a safe haven for all runaway slaves. We give food and supplies to any that find us and help them on their way. Why don't you let them stay here? We don't have enough room. There's not enough water or food here. But I have a plan. A plan to take over a place that will be a shining beacon of hope for all slaves. Sounds dangerous. I want to move all my people to the memorial site for the great Abraham Lincoln, but I need to know if it's safe. I've heard rumors of super mutants oh, yeah. infesting that area, though. We need to send someone to check that out first. Don't worry about the super mutants. Slavers are in control of the memorial. Slavers? Dear God, they must know about our plans. Do whatever you have to do to make the memorial site safe for my people. Before you leave, speak with Caleb. He'll need your help, too. What is it that he needs? He was a stonemason. It will fall to him to restore the memorial as best he can. He's been pestering me for weeks now to get him some things he needs. I don't have time to deal with him right now. Okay. Thank you. May the spirit of the great Lincoln protect you. The I'm great Lincoln. In. I need to be sharp tomorrow. The great Lincoln. I feel like... It would, I don't know, I feel like the head of Lincoln would be larger, but five rods, that's not as bad as we've seen. Just curious. It's, it's not much, but I, I can contribute that much, I guess. Oh. That's Hannibal. And that's Bill. Sorry, Bill. It's not not who I was looking for. That's Simone's home. Does Simone live with Caleb? Uh, no, Alejandra. Okay. Storeroom. I will take some shotgun shells because I will probably need them to take out the aforementioned slavers. All right, Caleb, the old so-and-so, where are you? Guess we're going back down. the union, huh? I just wonder if we would find more um, notes. Let's 
we are so close to that location um, where we found the girl's like final thoughts. Oh, that's Watch normal. your step. Oh, we got scrap metal. And a bobby pin. Nice. Spooked myself for a second there. There we go, Caleb. Yes? You're new. I'm Caleb. If you're going to be staying a while, I could use some help. Gotcha. Hannibal says you need something. Hannibal told you about Lincoln's memorial? Well, he doesn't just want to live there. He also wants to restore it. Make it so people tell stories about it and the word can get to the slaves. But I can't restore something if I don't know what it looked like. I need a drawing, a photograph of it. Um, how the heck am I supposed to get a picture of the memorial? Our ancestors honored Lincoln's life with a display in the Museum of History. I'm hoping that a picture of the memorial still survives in there. So, you used to be a slave. Long time ago. Eight years, I think. Three oh. of us escaped during the night. They caught Lysel and John. I made it into the wasteland. I think it's pronounced Raiders took me in at first. When I heard about this place, I knew I had to come here. Why not keep running? We are the only hope for runaway slaves everywhere. Rivet City and the Citadel can't be bothered with helping slaves. They turn a blind eye. We are the only ones willing to stand against Paradise Falls and slavery. What is it you do here? My former master trained me in masonry. I fix things. Someday I hope to reattach Lincoln's head to the statue in the memorial. Now I have to go. Okay. Can I read his book? No. It's just a big little book. I was hoping it was like a skill book or something. But we got a free bed. Which is good because I'm a dingus and definitely blew up my lips a little bit today. Just a skosh. Picture of Lincoln Memorial, kill all the slavers. We can do that. Yes, I do. I have the Game of the Year edition. Oh, wait, I think um, I'm too close to them. Okay. Looking to make he only trade. does armor. Yeah, I haven't really looked at them yet. Um, I assume these last four are the, um, like, are how to initiate them. Uh, I was hoping to have a more, like, steady flow of, um, ammo before doing that, but I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. 
Hmm. I don't know if we've gone we've gone into the lower. mask is the best okay let's look at a local map into the offices ah! oh dang that was like Wasted XP right there. I feel like I'm usually so cautious and today I'm being a little extra cavalier for no particular reason. Thank you for your sacrifice, sir. Or madam. I don't really care. Nice. There's always something good in the garbage. I don't know why, of all the lines from that movie, like that's the one that sticks in my head. We can take all that back for um, that settlement. Uh, I'll take your Brahmin steak as well. Uh, we will dump those if uh, I start getting encumbered though. Just a bottle caps, thank you much. Ooh, sugar bombs. And drugs. There we go. Another canteen. I guess a place like this would have a lot of employees, though. Lockers. I, I know it seems really silly, uh, but if I don't have to kill ghouls, I'd rather not. I feel like their circumstances are not their own fault. And I have kind of like a soft heart about it, even though it's totally a video game and it really doesn't mean anything.
kind of in the same way I, kind of, I do feel a little bit bad killing the Fulmer in Skyrim there's the stairs um just like it's not their fault just things happened I can't imagine that the that these guys are gonna care if I steal a painting. I like how there's just like legs left for some of these. Just legs. Lightsy and armsy. Alright. I think this is for the turret system. Okay. Oh, we got a couple of these. Ah, oh, shoot. Spiritual, character, personnel, um, respected, suspected, convicted. Okay, let's go with cathedral. All right. That's what that means. So, um, one of the reasons I haven't been kind of rushing towards the main quest is I know that you can't do the DLCs um, after completing the main quest in New Vegas for like obvious reasons. So, um, Been a little bit more cautious of doing that because I don't want to like lock myself out of doing the DLCs if that's the case. Oh, I will take that. Sounds like a discontented ghoul. We like happy ghouls in here. And I wish there was a ghoul mask in Fallout 4. We are going to stay away from that. I found Lincoln's hat! some squishies happen in here. Yep. Yep. What's up, buddy? I'm just trying to be like a cool guy with cool guy vibes wearing my like ghoul mask. I'm afraid that there's gonna be like a quest or something or like I get kidnapped and they take my like ghoul mask away. So, 
Um, I guess I don't need this now. And I'll probably leave the Nuka Colas here. Keep the Quantum just because it has a better resale value. But I can see me getting encumbered. But I'd rather just be invisible. Ooh, 557. Five, I'm like a little bit spooked. This is creepy. Oops, stim pack. I will take that. Thank you. can't even try to pick that one. Like, but what if I'm super good at picking locks? Don't need that skill. Alright, I think these are all burned bugs. That's what that must be for. Alright. Okay. E R E D E D. E D E R I O R. Nice. That's generally my. I'm not great at that mini game, but uh, I do really enjoy it. And that's generally. Um, <clears throat> like pick my first word is it has the most unique ending. Is that a little, is that a little guy? It's a little guy. Um, let's see if ours needs to be repaired. Nope. Oh, I'm so excited it's a little guy. I don't know why I like, I don't know. That made me really happy. Uh, but since we don't have like a player home, I, I am now just carrying Abraham Lincoln. That's fine. I also have his hat. I also have someone's powdered wig. <laughs> Vibes. Take your caps, thank you very much. We don't really use the, I don't think we use the 10 millimeter, but uh, we can sell it. Oh, 
Okay, I didn't realize it was a different turret system. Okay, well we can fix that. That's one problem solved. Okay. Looks like we got a little bit of light up ahead here. Gosh, uh, all of a sudden I was thinking one of our first like quests we kind of stumbled into was um, the school with the experiment for the robo dolls. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was like a training area. Okay, the rumors are roaming. So, okay. Now I feel like I'm breathing heavy like dog meat. Ugh. Don't mind if I do. Oh, a great glowing one. All right, everyone be on your best behavior. They don't seem to be any smarter than their friends. Just more explody. Ooh, shoddy shells, yes. I don't know if it actually matters. The gasping, that's not okay. Oh, we got a hole. Okay, so I'm going to leave all the saves pertaining to the Jefferson Memorial alone just in case but I think because we stopped where we did and we haven't pursued going to that vault yet I think we're okay for whatever is coming next but it does seem like we're, we need a formula and we should have a note on how to arrange the fuses as well I think that's like a thing that's going to happen so home slice. Okay. I don't know if it actually matters, um, like the whole don't get too close to them thing, but perfect. Come on, if you're gonna make me jump over there to investigate what kind of book that is, come on, could you give me a skill book? Doesn't even be a good one. There it is. It's like literally just a poster. Lincoln's voice. 
the attacking ghoul. The other great glowing friend, it is. Wow, that whole structure is huge for that turret. I mean, I'm not surprised. Not really, but this is big. I guess I don't really think about it because, like, we only ever see the actual gun portion of that asset. So thinking about it having, like... Like a like a clip or or an ammo crate attached attached to it. Um, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Have we looted in here? I don't know. No. Perfect. Oh, they're books. Just the way that book was positioned. Like, oh, it looks like something's billfold. All right, um, oh, okay, so that's why there's a big old room of rubble for no particular reason. Well, this is exciting. We actually, like, finally, yeah. I mean, it's just taken me uh, kind of a minute to not feel super crusty from having COVID a few weeks ago. So, yeah, go ahead, Bam. You pet my dog. He's real nice. Um, yeah, I think I'm finally just getting my faculties back. So, yeah. And uh, for the most part, the cough is gone, but um, yeah. Okay, so while we're here, I do believe I have some scrap metal to sell. So I should do that. Um, it's a name fella. It's been a while. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, a little of this. What are you staring at? Absolutely nothing. Robots. Oh! I sold that! I mean, not that it matters, but I totally sold that. Lunchbox, cherry bomb. Okay. So we do actually have a workbench we can use. Okay. You came back. Do you need something? Um, what do you have for sale? Take a look. It all works. I can send the sell the ten mil. Um, yeah, I'll take the three oh eight. Ooh, she's got shotgun shells. Heck yeah. And then cartons of cigarettes. I know it doesn't mean anything, but I do want to take all that food back. I don't know. Yeah. That's what that was for. And shells and 556. Does it? Oh. <laughs> right.
yeah. I will sell that. We'll keep the sugar bombs. We have a friend who likes that stuff. Um, I'm going to sell some of these because we do have quite a few of them. And we do seem to pick them up pretty often. Oh, fried mines. We can sell those. Nice. Thanks. Come back soon, please. Um, resident. What? Never seen a ghoul before. Patchwork. Windthorpe. Well, look who's back. What can I do you for, smooth skin? Uh, I have some scrap metal. And not a moment too soon. Uh, I don't want to trade. Okay, then you... I don't have enough. I just realized, um, Let me know if you have any of that scrap metal to sell. I think sell. I have to have five to sell? Let's take a look. Yeah, I only have three, and I believe it's five scrap metal for every stim pack. So I need two more to make a deal with him, but that's okay. All right, back to it. Hey, pupper. Hey, I actually like made some progress with my, we made progress. I actually made a, a quite a bit of progress because we got some more information about dear old dad and Um, oh, that's right. Caleb lives downstairs. So we pro progressed the main story a little bit. And then also this. I'm glad I thought to... Ooh, teddy bears in this universe. Mm. Oh, he might be upstairs now. Uh, now that I think about it take this off speech five speech ten I don't know I want to be able to wear both you are truly a good Temple. person so many Fair others enough. refuse to help us Can't you have a picture and such a large one too I'll have no problems restoring the memorial with this Thank you. What is that stone head? Let's see what she says. The stone head is from the statue of Abraham Lincoln. Hannibal wants me to reattach it to the statue in the memorial. All right. Okay. I hope you succeed, stranger. I... Everything is done? I can hardly believe it. We are finally going to realize the dream. We'll start out within the hour. We'll meet you at the site. Can't wait to set up okay. a stand for freed slaves. So, and I guess we have to go a ways down the road um, before we can fast travel. I guess it's like a little bit like trying to fast travel inside. Ooh, we got rad scorpions. All right. So Button's wig gives me five barter, a ding to perception, int one, and speech ten. Uh, I'm just gonna hold on to it. I wish I wish I could just put it on my dog. Yes. Here to see the good doctor? Excellent. I'm here to buy. Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic Oh, I have to put stuff in, in the fridge. Bag, shall we? Nuka grenade. Oh, that might be worth it. 
that might hurt later. Yeah, I, mm. Yeah, we haven't used Jet in a minute. We'll, there we go, that offset it a little bit. Pleasure doing business with you. My schematic has been improved. Cheers, pal. Watch yourself out there. Nice. One bottle of Nuka Quantum, a tin can, turpentine, and a Braxo. Now makes two grenades. Oh, okay. Hold on, I want to put this food in their refrigerator. And then we'll get ourselves positioned for their assault. I have no idea what's happening here. We are grateful for any help you can give us. Hello. Hello. Um, is there a refrigerator on the second Good floor? Good day, ma'am. Yeah. I suppose you aren't as bad as I thought. I know it doesn't mean anything, but I'm like, mm. Most wastelanders wouldn't have agreed to help us. All right. Let's try this again without the distractions. I want to get myself positioned so that we are starting um, at the beginning of combat. There we are. Next time. Good day, ma'am. Hello. Hello? It's so creepy. I bet something terrifying lives in the reflecting pool. Meet Hannibal at the memorial. Kill all the slavers near the Lincoln Memorial. All right. And I believe that is where we're going to leave it for next week. <clears throat> that works for me. Alrighty, everyone. Well, thank you so much for hanging out today. This was really fun. Yeah, this was great. Um, here, we'll leave it on a more aesthetic note uh yes yeah, so i will be back for uh more fallout 3 next week and uh yeah I'm, I'm hoping we can get uh lincoln's head back on his body so alrighty everyone well thank you so much for hanging out today uh i really appreciate it it's always a blast uh thank you to old friends and uh <laughs> i can't find a moat um and uh yeah i thank you to old friends thank you to new friends and uh yeah i guess i will look into whether or not we uh can wait till the end of the main quest to do the dlcs or they have to be done beforehand so alrighty everyone until next time please remember to take care of yourselves and each other and happy sipping have a great week everyone